Yo, what's going on and welcome back to Monster Train again, except this time the full game. It's finally out. Last last week we played the demo. <clears throat> and there wasn't like you could do some full runs, but only as uh the two two factions, and it looks like we're probably gonna be starting from ground zero and working our way back up, which is why I didn't do too many runs in the demo. Um as far as stuff goes. I feel like this thing has more health than it started out with last time. I think in the demo it only had 60 health, but now it's got 80. And it automatically starts a run the first time you start up the game. So I guess we are going to be playing uh, whatever these guys are. The Hellhorned and the the whatever, the allied clan, is the, or the Awoken. That's what they are. The Awoken is our allies. Probably going to have to do the tutorial really quick, but we know most of the stuff. Whether or not we can actually play the game is a different story. Because we didn't... I don't know how close we got to winning. But it, it didn't feel like we were winning any of our runs. Okay, so we know all about the pyre. We know about our enemies. So we got our prince. Flow the train has limited capacity. At the end of last one, we learned that we could put more than two units on each floor. So that was pretty useful. You can see how much damage everything's gonna take. What does this guy do? He just has multi-strike. So we probably want to protect him with our train steward. And we can blow up the healer. Oh, we have another torch. We have plus three mana? Oh no. It just tells us what's happening next turn. Interesting. Oh, well, that guy's not quite dead. Alright, so how do we get rid of this guy? I feel like we summon the train steward up here. And we torch him once. And then back here we can torch this guy. Alright, so... Hmm. We're gonna need a second train steward. And we might as well summon our last one up here. Uh, we just put the full health guy up front, so we'll go ahead and heal this guy. Wait, it only... This card doesn't work the same way. It restores two health and it applies regen one. Interesting. That's probably a lot better. I think that card is designed for the, what are they called again? Whatever our allied clan is. Okay, so now we get into the boss phase and the boss has relentless, so Combat keeps going on this floor after we take our turn until either our units are dead or he is dead. Now, so what was our... They're called the Awoken. I need to remember that. Yeah, I feel like regen is better for the Awoken just because they get things when they heal. It's the one regen. It's pretty good. And I think Torch is the Hell Hellhorned card, probably. Restore is the Awoken card. How are we going to do this? I mean, this guy's not gonna live. Not too concerned with that. But I think we can cheat our way out of an extra turn if we give this guy regen one. Because then after the turn, he'll heal up. And then so he'll be able to take an extra attack right here. He should heal. Yep. So yeah, it did actually work. He took the extra attack. And we only ended up losing one guy. So what do we got here? I feel like Inflame is pretty good. This guy is worse. Well, maybe. He's different. He used to deal 10 damage to a random enemy. Now he deals 5 damage to what I would assume is all enemies. Abilities... All enemies on the floor. So it's different. It could be better, it could be worse, depending on the situation. Vent could be good. I think we're going to go with Inflame. And what do we got going here? 
Didn't this thing used to cost zero, or am I thinking of a different card? I think I'm thinking of a different card. Glimmer is very good. Alright, so... Got Awoken and we got Hellhorned. We can make our magic better, or we can make our units better. I think we mostly have spells at the moment, so I'm thinking we want to make our spells better. But we are going to get a unit from this. I feel like we want a Hellhorn unit, though. Let's go this way. Okay. So this guy, we already know him. When he lives, he gets five armor. We've used him very well. This guy, when he kills stuff, he gets three rage. Hmm. I feel like we go with the steel worker first. Now, what can we upgrade? We can upgrade something to cost less. We can't quite do all of these. What is double stack? Status effects stacks added by this card are double. Interesting. So now we also have this reroll option, which I don't believe we had earlier in the demo. And consume. What would we want to consume? Like a torch? I feel like that's not worth it. A double stack? It doesn't have any negatives, does it? Oh, I really wish we could do both this and double stack on our inflame. I feel like double stack is just so strong. I think we gotta. We'll probably find this upgrade again in the future, so. Alright, I, oh, I do remember these guys. We don't have the option to do the challenges quite yet. But once we get them, we'll probably try them, because they seem like it's always good to do them unless you're close to death. Then you might be afraid. So. Enchant. So this guy's giving them spikes. So we probably just want to get rid of you. Easy. Now this guy's got multi-strike. So our steel worker's probably gonna go in front. And this guy's not quite dead. Do we wanna play the torch or wanna play the steward? I think steward. And so this is this is our basic bottom floor combo. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So that guy's not gonna die. But we could probably make him die. Now this floor down here, we're gonna want a Glimmer. Cause that picks up two kills for us. And then this guy, if we want him to die, we gotta torch him twice. So I think that's gotta be the play. And right now we're not taking any damage. We're just stacking up armor on this dude. Okay, so here's the Inflame. So I think we play one Train Steward here. Or should we play him on the floor up? Well, the only way we kill this guy is if we play him here. So let's do that. And then we'll Inflame. Could also Inflame this guy, but I think it's going to be better on Multi-Strike. Okay, so we're already on the boss. It looks like the boss is super dead. So we'll go ahead and put this down, and then we can put some healing down. Unfortunately, we don't have the ability to torch that, which is uh, not great. So if we do this, we get regen too? Yeah. Click the game speed button to toggle the speed. Alright, so what's going on here? We've seen Welder Helper. He appears to be better. He gives 15 armor instead of 10. Uh, ascend a unit 
I just don't see this card being that good. Like, it could have a use, but I think if you're doing that, you're already having some issues. Deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to four times the amount of armor on friendly units. That's pretty good, but we don't have a lot of armor at the moment. I think we want Welder Helper because our combo at the bottom right now is our Prince and the Steelworker, and we could have a third unit as long as it's one heat, which the imps are. And then here... Deal 5 damage to the front enemy unit. Drop plus 1 next turn. That's really good. Regen's okay, but we don't have enough Awoken units to really make use of it. I feel like we're more about armor than we are about healing at the moment. Deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to 5 times the amount healed? So this is a lot different as well. It used to heal 20 and deal 2 times, I believe. Now it heals 10 and deals 5 times, which I think makes it a lot better once you get upgrades on it. But it, it is a little bit better to start off with as well, especially if you're ever healing less than 10. But I think we're going to go with the Sting. I think the Sting is going to be really valuable for us, because we'll, we'll use it whenever we see it. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Duplicate a card. Is there any card we want to duplicate? Uh, I don't think we can go on that side. None of our cards really seem worth duplicating, because in Flame it just costs too much at the moment. We could duplicate like Sting, but I don't think that's worth it. So let's go here, let's grab our unit first. Okay, we can't get out of that. We probably should have done the random event first. I don't know if the random event can give units or not. I think since we already have one Steelworker, probably want the Branded Warrior for a Floor 2 guy. Let's do the event. Fissure in the ice forces the Bone Shaker to stop. You've seen cracks like this before, often allowing you to multiply your forces through some ancient magic, but this one is different. Unstable. Throwing something in the fissure could have unusual side effects while just absorbing the energy from afar could have the more expected effect. So we could either copy a card, copy a card five times, or leave. I mean, if it's gonna give us a copy... Okay, we can exit out. It's tough, because our only card with actual enhancement on it is in flame. Is it worth it to have two in flames? I just don't, I don't think so. I think we just leave. Yeah. If we copied a card five times, that could get pretty crazy. I don't think it's worth it. I think it just muddles our deck up too much. So, what kind of upgrades? We don't have a whole lot of money. Create a unit with plus 20 HP. Who can we give this to? Probably our Branded Warrior or the Imp. The Imp might actually be really good for this because normally his attack is virtually useless. Now the problem is, is the Imp dies if they have AoE. I think it's gotta be the Branded Warrior. Just because I think the imp is going to be too easy to accidentally kill. And then I think we'll leave it at that unless we really want to upgrade the Steelworker with more HP. Yeah, we should do it. Steelworker is going to be virtually impenetrable at this point in the game. Okay, so now we got the bombs with damage shields. So yep, he moves around between the floors, puts his little bombs down. We learned last time that we don't have to protect the bombs if we don't want to. Nope, I would like to go down a floor. My steelworker in front here. So how is this gonna go? Do we get rid of the healer?
Or do we get rid of the damage? He heals five. Five is a lot, so let's get rid of that. We'll put our train steward on the final floor, I think. I don't know if those little, like, imps that give you gold can spawn right now, but assuming they can, we want to just put things on other floors. That's bad. But we could kind of just let this one ride. And then this one right here, whenever we cast spells on that floor, he's going to get one attack. But he only attacks once. So it might be worth it to torch this guy. Because we'll increase their damage by one to decrease their damage by four. Which is kind of worth it. So we're going to put the Branded Warrior up here. And I think we torch this guy. I think we torch this guy as well. Do we? Yeah, I feel like we do. It's gonna make it so our branded warrior doesn't get a kill next turn though. But we do attack the boss. I forgot about that part actually. <laughs> that you can hit the boss during the pre-phase on some of these. Okay, so now the bomb is in a place that we did not like the bomb. It only deals its damage to the front enemy though. Oh, he's got Rage. I was like, why does he have more attack than his max? So here, unfortunately, the Steward's gonna get the kill, so we won't get the Slay bonus. Uh, do we need to do anything? No, I don't think so. We could summon a Steward here, definitely. Pick up that kill. Then we can inflame this guy. That's gonna kill our guy here unless we welder helper him. Glimmer won't save him, but we could use Sting to help. What are we looking at down here? We could Glimmer this bottom floor, but that's gonna give him one attack. So I think we're going to glimmer this door. Do I want to sting? So this is 10 plus 20. So he's dead in one attack. Problem is we can't do anything about that guy. So that's just how it's going to have to be on that floor. And then welder helper here. Give armor to this guy, so then he doesn't die. Do we want to heal anyone? Could definitely heal the train steward. And I feel like we just cast Sting on like the bomb, or we could just kill the bomb, which might be the play. I think that was better. Alright, so this train steward's gonna have some problems here. So I think we're we're probably just gonna put another train steward behind him. He'll pick up the kill. Yeah, he'll pick up the kill without taking any damage. And then here, we might as well just decrease the damage they're going to deal. And should we apply the regen now? I think that's a good move. Okay, 
Okay, so we got in flame, which is kind of what we were looking for. Go ahead, cast that. So he's going to be doing a lot of damage, and the boss should just be dead, so... That should be... Alrighty, we've done it. Is this a rare pack? Unit draft. Um, consume, apply quick. So that would be pretty good on our branded warrior. Restore friendly units to full health. Now I think, um, I don't know, maybe it was different in the demo, but this card actually heals all of the things on the floor. I originally thought it only healed one thing, which is why I never used it. I feel like we want Wildwood Tome. Like this is good, but I think this might be better. A new unit. What are you? I've never seen you before. Rage on friendly units adds an additional plus two per stack. That's amazing. If we could get him in front of the branded warrior, I think he's better than these two just because of that. We could start thinking about getting rid of our um, train stewards now. And I feel like the first one you pick of these should be energy. Okay, so we got remove two cards, which is pretty good. Pyre health, which we don't need. Artifact over here. I feel like we have to go this way because I really want the artifact. I would like to remove some cards, but the pyre health is completely meaningless, and this will give us more gold for the next floor. I think we just go here. Give me an artifact. 50% chance to remove all buff effects on an enemy when it enters. Train steward units gain damage shield 2 and multi strike 1. I feel like that makes train stewards a lot more useful, huh? Maybe we should just go train steward build. Sounds like a good time. All right, what do we got here? We do like Demon Fiend. He is different. He still costs the same, but he's now a 50-50 instead of a 30-30. I feel like we put in the Demon Fiend. Like, he's cool. Oh, don't forget the champion upgrade. Okay, so what are we looking for here? What is revenge? Triggers one damage. Okay. I see. We could either increase his multi-strike or we could give him revenge. I feel like this is just so much better. This is really good with our Inflame. But like, this is not bad with our Inflame. I think we go with this one. Now I'm hoping that shield damage counts as damage, which I think it does. If it doesn't, then that would be kind of lame. So we can undergo trials, but you'll earn an extra reward. Non-boss enemies restore all health when they move up. I think we do it. It's a very powerful effect, especially since this guy has 50 shield. It's a little bit more than I was anticipating. I wish we had Inflame to lead off here. And this guy's gonna put a card on our deck, unfortunately. So if we put the Hornbreaker Prince up here.
think train steward goes behind him because we got the super high level train stewards now I think we start gaining armor on this guy right here or do we because we have that maybe we put him on the top floor because we have that combo of two units uh, the branded warrior and the whatever guy who I want to go together on floor two what can we do here? I guess we just got a torch to this guy. It doesn't really help us to do anything else. Yeah, this is bad. This is a bad situation. Okay, but they don't get their shields back. I see, I see. So, we want probably Train Steward in front right here. Branded Warrior in the back. Is there any way Train Steward can pick up this kill? No. We need to play this. This guy's dead. If I torch this though, I really want this money, but there's no way I can get it. So if I torch this, then we should be fine. This guy's got 75 HP and he's gonna get it all back. That sucks. Okay, so here's this guy, which we can't place because the train steward's still there. And they can't even handle that. Mm. This is bad. This is really bad. But you can handle that guy easily. That's not a problem. So we don't care about the top floor. We do have Demon Fiend, but I don't think we can afford to play him. Can't stack Rage on that top floor. We need one more capacity, I think, for this floor. I feel like we gotta play this. Like, we definitely give this guy in flame. And if we apply quick on him as well, is that better or worse? Oh, they're one HP off from killing that guy? That's lame. I think it's actually worse if we give that guy quick. But if we give this guy quick... This is a tough one. I think this guy's gonna want quick. In the consume pile, they will not be available again. Okay. Alright, this, this challenge is a little bit tough with them getting so much health back all the time. So, we definitely want to glimmer this floor. And that guy is going to die, so we should be okay. What are we looking at everywhere else? We need to play this. That guy is going to move on to the next floor and there's nothing I can do about it. So that's lame. I guess we sting this floor. And then restore. Does anyone else need any healing? No, so I guess we'll just full heal this dude. Okay, he did 15 damage to us, that's not great. And it looks like it's probably getting worse here. Although we do have a train steward. Hmm. Yeah, this challenge is really killing me. Okay, so get rid of this. So you can put the train steward right here. And 
what else do we want to do? We could welder help her here. But do we really want to keep that train steward alive? I thought the goal was to have this train steward die. But at this point, it's kind of too late for that to matter very much. Maybe we put the welder helper down here. Hmm, that guy's gonna die in one hit to the pyre anyways. I don't think there's any way we can... We're doing 20 damage. Pyre does 30. So either way, it's gonna take the pyre two hits. Do we wanna just heal this train steward, I guess? It's not great, but... Oh, he heals the pole anyway. Dang. Alright, this is not going well at the moment, but we can recover. It's not over yet. Alright, everyone's dying here and we're not dealing very much damage, so that's not good. And I don't have anything I can do about it. This is bad. This is really bad. Okay. This one's not going well. He died so early, our champion. Okay, that's bad. Okay, we can inflame though. Glimmer doesn't really do anything for us here. Ah, uh, do we actually survive another hit? We do. Oh boy. This sucks. <laughs> We're gonna take some damage here, huh? We just need to lower this guy's health as much as possible, I think. Okay, we lost like two-thirds of our pyre health there. What is this? I don't know what that is. It looks like health though. Oh, it's just an artifact. Yes, I will collect that. What are we looking at here? Piercing, deal five damage. I don't think we need any of these. I think we're... Well, we could use more welder helpers. Nah, we're done. More stings. I think more stings is useful though. It'll let us draw more cards. So we're not looking good at the moment. So immediately I want to go here, get some higher health, and we get an artifact. And we can buy some artifacts. We got an okay amount of money, so I think this is a good call. What is this? Cards with consume have a 50% chance to be discarded instead. What do we have that has consume? We gave something consume, or this card that has, that gives quick. And then when you play your third card of the turn, draw two. That's actually pretty good. I feel like we'd rather have this. And then, what do we got here? Deal two damage whenever an enemy unit moves between floors. Apply dazed when it enters the pyre room. Pyre gets plus 15. But we don't have enough to reroll and buy something. I think jack strips is gonna be good though. And then let's get a little bit of fire health. 
This run looks like it's coming to an end, but I feel like the tutorial one is unfair. Non-boss enemies get plus six, we get 150, let's do it. We might die here. But I feel like we gotta make some big plays if we wanna recover. They only all have two health, so if we have like a glimmer, we don't. That guy can't even survive, can he? What does stealth do? Not a target in combat for the next turn. Wow. I feel like we can't even go on floor one. We have to set up our defense on floor two. We can take one of these nerds out. Actually, they'll all die to jack strips, huh? That's something, I suppose. Do we do this, or do we save it? Hey, let's do this. These two together could be very strong. Oh, here's some more torches. Do we want train steward top floor, or torch both of them? I feel like train steward. Excuse me. Thank you. We'll just torch one of them. It doesn't matter if we regen, heal, whatever, it'll die. Oh boy. Alright, so we got Demon Fiend. We might just play him down here. Now, unfortunately, we can't play Wildwood Tome with it. But he'll live for quite a while. And we can sting. That's bad, because they're going to kill this guy. But we got things to help him. That's also bad. We don't like that. There's so many things I want to play. First of all, why don't we start with Sting. Gets us closer to our double draw. Now I feel like what we do is we maybe put this guy in the back. Okay, welder helper here. Then we get our draw. Do we inflame or do we glimmer? And glimmer's gonna do more right here than inflame. If we glimmer, then we can also steel worker top floor. I think that's the play. Hopefully we'll try and draw and flame again soon. Okay, so what's going on top floor here? We want that man to die, but there's not really a good way we can get him to die. Okay, what do you do? When a unit on the floor dies, he gets 10 armor. That's obnoxious, but probably just how it has to be for us to take less damage. We're 15 off of killing that guy. There's no way we can kill that guy. So we might as well sting this guy, I guess. Do we want to apply regen on anything? Probably just big dude down here. We're 
not looking that great, but we're still alive. So how do we want to do this? I feel like for sure... Can you play this on an empty floor? You can. But for sure we play Sting here. And then we want to inflame. Probably inflaming the Demon Fiend because he'll get more from the Deranged Brute. And then who do we give quick to? Because this guy gets one rage every time he gets attacked. That doesn't necessarily make it good. But this guy with quick is very scary. I think we give him quick. Got another draw out of it. I think we just glimmer. So everyone's dying here, which is not what you want to see. His multi-strike four. So he's hitting a lot. So we want to get rid of these guys. For sure. Then we want to sting. Probably just use two restores here and see just how much damage we can actually get done. Doesn't look like it's enough. It attacks so many times. No. Well, I think we we did enough there. Because now we have Glimmer, we have Inflame, Regen its health, got a Sting. That's still not enough, but I feel like next floor it should be. He gets so much attack out of it. He just didn't have enough health to actually maintain. Okay, so we win here. Go ahead, give this guy in flame. Ooh, I stink. <laughs> There's the train steward build. Oh, cool, thank you. Hopefully you like this game as well. I find it pretty fun. All right, what are we looking at here? I don't know what any of these cards do. So we got 100 damage to everybody. Not that great, probably, unless we're really in a bad spot. Deal five damage and apply 20 armor. Also not that great. Summon a random, or return a random consumed spell to your hand. It's pretty good. I think we get rid of, I think we, we just don't take any of these. But yeah, this game kinda, kinda slay the spirey. It, it, uh, it's, it's a deck builder, roguelite stuff. Same as slay the spire, except it's kinda got like a tower defense. So far, it seems like a good time. We played the demo last week, but now we're playing the actual game. This one didn't cost one in the demo. I believe it costs zero. This one doesn't seem very good. Apply one rooted. Prevents the next time a unit would move between floors. That could be really good. It's zero and it increases our draw. 
and we'll just i think we want this because we already draw a card when we play three cards in a turn so it'll be essentially a free card that lets us draw another card and then we draw a card next turn so we can remove two cards but our trained stewards are pretty good so i don't think we want to remove those quite yet could make a spell better, and we kind of need pyre health, so I'm thinking we go over here. So let's see what the random event is. What is this, anyways? How far we've traveled. A cave of a thousand eyes seems to awaken as you grow near. From deep within, a voice emerges. Relinquish your life or your wealth, and you may be rewarded if you are deemed worthy. You don't often make offerings to unknown beasts, but you consider making an exception for this cave. Okay, so we could pay 25 coins, 10% chance to gain an artifact. Uh, I don't think we want to lose 5 health, so I'm going to pay the coins, because we got lots of coins. A loud belch emerges from the shadowy depths. Your tribute disappears into the darkness, but there's no recognition of your worth follows. Your worth has yet to be determined. Only further tribute will sway us further. Oh boy. Well, we got money. All right, well, he doesn't seem very happy at the moment. It's a 50% chance. Look, we got enough money to do one more, probably. You still leave us unsure. Look, this guy's a jerk. We've done it. Units cost minus two. I mean, that's cool. Probably not worth 100 gold. But that's how it goes, I guess. Obviously, if we had hit the, like, 10% chance or the 25% chance, then it definitely would have been worth it. But now I'm questioning. But since everything in our deck is getting to the point where it costs zero, I think that only helps us. I guess we'll start with forging. Make something cost less. Good time to make inflame cost less. Permafrost. So, it doesn't get discarded, or you get plus 10 magic power. Plus 10 magic power seems pretty good on something like Glimmer. Sting, it just deals 15 damage. But Glimmer is going to be 12 damage to everyone, 12 heal to everyone. I feel like you got to go with this one. And then... I mean, what we've wanted from the start is Inflame to only cost one, so that's what we're going with for now. Let us get a reroll in. So we got lots of money. Keep some. When played, this card is placed on top of your drop out. Okay, this is... Oh. Now I wish we hadn't used the decreased cost on Inflame, because this would be really good on Inflame. However... We could do this on, like, Ensnare. And then we get to Ensnare every single turn, zero cost, and ensure that we get plus one draw next turn. So that seems pretty powerful. Uh, we can't do anything else, so that's gonna be it. Grab our 20 health. Hopefully we won't die. Did we beat this boss in the demo? I can't remember. I feel like we did beat this boss, but then we died to the next thing or something like that. This is the guy that like constantly adds garbage to your deck that you have to play. Which is good that all of our stuff doesn't cost very much because we're going to have to be spending mana to get rid of this, this nonsense. So what are we looking at here? We got this nerd. Hmm. Can we even get rid of this guy? We got this stupid statue in the way. This thing has 1,300 HP! That's like 600 more than I had in the demo. What the heck? Hmm. Okay, so I mean, we're gonna play that first. How do we deal with this man? Do we care about the deranged brute comboing with the horned prince here? Could be valuable. Oh, but he's not even getting attacked because they have zero attack. 
Ah. So I think we put Deranged Brood on floor two then. Who do we want comboing with the Hornbreaker Prince? Could be the Demon Fiend. But could also just be a train steward. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we need to play in Snare, but I don't really want to play it on this guy. But maybe I do. What happens if like he stays here? This is for science. Cause I because this guy has an effect every time he doesn't die. But if he stays on this floor, I wonder if more enemies can still spawn in the floor. And we'll slowly start to take down his health. I think we'll save the quick for someone like the Demon Fiend. Put a train steward here so we can try and get through the statue's health. Because we need to start killing these guys that spawn. Okay, it just adds another guy. Unfortunately, they all deal zero damage. So, play that. Mm. I think we play the Branded Warrior right here. He deals lots of damage. We'll torch this guy, because that guy's getting close to dying. Okay, so now we got our Steel Worker. And the Demon Fiend costs two less. Oh, that makes the Demon Fiend so much better. Okay, Steel Worker. And Demon Fiend up here. Who are we gonna ensnare? We should just cast ensnare always, because it's useful. But maybe not on these dudes, because those dudes are annoying. So we'll root the statue that can't move anyways, just so we get an extra card. Oh boy. Alright, one of those guys is gone. Alright, we gotta spend all of our mana on these things. Now, luckily for us, everything in our deck costs zero, essentially. So it wasn't a big deal. Now, none of these guys do damage. We're gonna ensnare you, because I don't want you to leave. Where would Welder Helper go? Like here, this floor, or this floor? It's tough. It could really go on either floor. Alright, there, we're getting some stuff going. Okay, so these guys are finally going to start dying now. Let's start by getting rid of two of these. Now, here's where... Who do we want to ensnare? Probably this guy. Keep him hitting the Hornbreaker Prince for as long as possible, because he's the only one who can actually deal damage. Didn't really draw anything useful, but that's okay. Now, we could either get a lot of effect on inflaming the Branded Warrior here, or we could get a lot of effect on inflaming the uh, the Hornbreaker Prince. Both of which could be useful. Mm. But this guy's gonna get way more effect out of it, and he's gonna hit the boss. Ah, oh, the deranged brute is the one who's killing this guy. That's unlucky. We haven't used our quick yet. We need quick on the branded warrior. And then what else are we looking at here? Anyone hurt? There's no one who is injured. So we can pretty much just 
shoot this torch out. could not do that that would be great because that guy's super dead we still don't have our quick card it's got to be in here somewhere it must have just gotten added back to the drop pile which is why we haven't seen it again so what are we doing here we ensnare one of these guys first we stay all right that's a good start now, this floor is not hitting the boss this turn, so I think we inflame. And then, so that guy's dead. So we'll ensnare you. So you don't get to leave. All of our floors are pretty scary. Sting, probably want to cast Sting. That guy's dead, so that's good. And Snare, we'll probably ensnare this guy, we'll Glimmer. Because there's no good reason not to. Oh, there's our Quick. Oh, he doesn't have enough damage. So in this case, we don't actually even want to cast quick there. That sucks. <laughs> it's because the only way we're going to get any rage here is if he attacks second. That's, that's unfortunate. Who would we want to give healing to then? Probably this guy. This guy's the only guy getting hit. So we'll just give regen to him. Get rid of this immediately. It's pretty easy what we're doing now. So, if we inflame you, it's gonna give you eight rage. So, you'll be at 30, 30 damage, so eight more, 42. That's not enough to kill you in one hit. Which is unfortunate. So I think we enrage the Branded Warrior, or inflame the Branded Warrior. And we ensnare this guy. To draw some more cards. Now it might have been enough if we had cast a torch or something. But that's just how it goes, I suppose. Can't know that we were gonna draw a sting. That's a lot of damage. Alright, so final wave has started. Unfortunately, we need to kill this guy first. If we ensnare him... I mean, I guess he's dead anyway, so it doesn't really help us. So, now we should probably choose where our quick is going. I think we quick our champion then he'll kill this guy before he even gets an attack off. The sting. Can we ensnare the boss? Does that do anything? No. But it lets us draw cards. Glimmer for some extra damage. Torch him. Should just give regen to this guy. I don't think there's any way he survives another attack. But if he does. Alright, 
Okay, this thing's got too much HP. This is causing problems. Okay, we'll get two extra draws by casting both of these free cards. And then, what are we doing here? Everyone's dying. That's not good. I feel like we start with the torch. We drew some more cards. Didn't really do a whole lot for us. Two more damage. Just apply regen. And apply regen. It's the only thing we can do right now. This is bad. This might be the end right here. Oh boy, alright, Sting. And Snare. Who are we inflaming? Why don't we torch first? Oh my gosh. We have all these useless cards. We need to get rid of these. If we could cycle our deck, like our good cards, it'd be so much more effective. Ah, oh, man. I feel like it's gotta be the guy in the back, just because he has more power. Torch twice for four damage. There's no way the regen's gonna do anything on either of them. Because it's gonna take this guy more than two turns to kill the Steelworker, or to even get through the Steelworker's armor. So we've seen this card, because we unlocked this card last time. Summon abilities trigger an additional time. Yep, 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 we know that. New personal record. We played 38 units. I don't know what these things mean. Oh, it's just level. So, we need to unlock the other things. To unlock them, we just need to play spells, which we're already halfway there, so another run and we might get it. We've got to play a lots of units. That's going to take a little bit, unless we do like an imp build and all the imps have endless. I know there's this uh, upgrade called endless where they go back into your deck after they die. Then we might be playing lots of units, and then that's just going to take a while. That shows all of our cards. Shows upgrades. We haven't done all the upgrades and stuff. Sure, we'll figure it out at some point. I don't know how many upgrades there are. I thought maybe there's only three. That would probably make sense. And then here's all the artifacts we've seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I get out of here? There we go. So let's go ahead and try another. Enemies killed by the pyre. <laughs> I don't know if that's a record that you want to have. 